I've literally just recorded an entire video without clicking record. Now I'm gonna do it again. Hello, my little children. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to show you how to get Valorant working on Linux under a virtual machine, but Linux nonetheless. So just just before this video begins, I am of course going to be assuming that you've already have a virtual machine set up and up and running with GPU pass through or whatever. If you do not and uh, have two GPUs to spare, you can go ahead and watch this video to learn how to do it the normal way. Or you could also do go ahead and watch this video. I wait, I just realized I'm pointing at like areas on the screen and YouTube uh, no longer has uh, no longer has annotations. Right, this card is going to have links to all of the videos that I'm going to talk about. And if it doesn't, uh, they're down in the description or whatever. So, uh, yeah, you watch the second video if you do, if you only have one GPU to spare. Uh, but I'm going to say that that video is actually a little outdated. Even the person who made the video ha like has scripts for has better scripts for that method. So if um, so, I might actually make another video explaining how to do a single GPU pass through. If you're interested, do subscribe to this channel. So uh, yeah, there, that, that's that. Right. So another thing I would like to mention before going ahead: if you are planning on using this method to cheat on this game, it's not gonna work you are going to get banned. The only reason this method even works is because Vanguard uh, can actually detect cheats if they're running. So this is not going to work for anybody who plan on using cheats on Valorant, using um, virtual machines and stuff. So basically the way this is going to work is uh, Vanguard itself checks for only one thing to detect if it's a virtual machine or not. And that is to see if uh, it, if, uh, it detects a hypervisor or not if it does that means you are indeed running a virtual machine and you cannot and therefore uh vanguard will not be enabled uh, vanguard can literally not run like even if um uh, right wanted to vanguard itself the kernel level anti-cheat would not function so in this case what you actually do is you go ahead and enable nested virtualization which would which would actually be uh the equivalent of like if you were running bare metal you'd go go on to your bios and enable vtd or smt for amd or whatever that, so that way because you don't have to disable the hypervisor vanguard itself will function and uh, because you have um nested virtualization enabled it'll um it will actually let you play the game because it um because if vanguard works even if you have uh cheats running on uh your Linux system, Vanguard is still able to detect it because it's kernel level. And trust me, I know this because of people who have cheated on this game with this method and got their accounts banned. So don't even try it. So anyways, I'll hop onto my computer now and uh, show you guys how to enable Nested Virtualization and get the game up and running and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So over here on the Linux side of things, all you have to do is uh, go to your virtual machine and make sure that under CPUs, um, you have it so that it's set to host pass through and um, well actually I'm just gonna show you all the um, show my XML for you so uh, under CPU it has to match exactly this I will be leaving my full XML uh, and on a Hyper-V if you have an Intel CPU you can basically just go ahead and copy all of this and you'll get uh, you'll be fine but if you have an AMD using all of these might uh, result to some performance issues so uh, just just make sure that wh whatever you need to do to get Nvi uh, an NVIDIA GPU working you have that and of course, if uh, for some reason doing so results in any sorts of issues, you can just go down in the description, copy my XML, and I more or less guarantee you it's going to work. Anywho, that's literally all you have to do in under the Linux side of things. I'm now going to go over to my Windows virtual machine and uh, see you there. So now that I'm in my virtual machine, I'll show you that it is indeed a virtual machine. And as you can see, this is indeed inside my virtual machine. Um with my GPU and um, CPU right here. And since I've, I had only uh, four cores, uh, pa sorry, f four threads passed through to my virtual machine, you can see that it is indeed showing four CPU threads over here. So you know that this is a virtual machine. So over here on Windows, what you could do is run a partial command, or you could just, if you're lazy, you could just go to turn Windows features on or off over here and just check Hyper-V and reboot. If you do not get uh, a boot loop on your virtual machine, you're good to go. And if you do experience a boot loop, 
make sure you're not on kernel 5.9 or below and even on 5.9 you might have problems uh with kernel uh, 5.9.8 throughout 5.9.12 um, i think it was so just to be sure make uh, make sure you if you're on 5.9 either downgrade to 5.8 or upgrade to a newer kernel i'm currently using 5.12 um something 5.12.5 i believe uh, it's a custom TKG kernel and I do recommend uh, if you're on Arch to get a TKG kernel with um, timer frequency set to 1000 while compiling it. That will give you the best possible performance for hyper, um, for KVM and all that. So yeah, after you reboot into Windows, if you are able to at all, and if you're not, you could, you know, get a new kernel. And uh, if you're having, if you're still having problems, feel free to join my uh, discord uh, down that I've left down in the description and um, you could ask for support anytime and um, but uh, other than that if everything else is fine you should just be uh, able to install Valorant and have it work I'll do that right now and for the first time it might actually say that you need to reboot your computer for um, Vanguard to work and uh, all uh, at that point all you like after a reboot it should just work and as you can see uh if we can record this yeah there we go this is this looks like the game and which it is i've been playing for six months without in without any issue and so have like a lot of people that i know and like yeah it just this works more or less i'll get into the range and show you um how it performs how it works and stuff and if you're still skeptical about the fact that this might not be an actual virtual machine i'll open up ssh and do like an htop for you to see my cpu usage as you can see only four of only the four cores that i have passed through are being used up right now which indicates that it's the virtual machine taking up the cores and performance as it is i'm getting like 250 frames per second and uh, which is pretty typical of my cpu which is an i7 7700k and yeah there is literally no input lag whatsoever to uh, when i do fdef pass through so i recommend you guys do that too on normal um mouse mouse and keyboard like usb pass through might have some issues because of the way it works or something like issues as in not input lag it might just um like while you're flicking or doing something it might just get stuck it ha it happened to me a long time and it was literally unplayable for me uh, up until I did FDF pass through and even with FDF pass through I had that issue up until I install actually went ahead and installed the Verti guest drivers because which I hadn't done because I thought that it might be another issue with Vanguard or something but it turns out it wasn't so that was all fine and just for safe measures I'll and just for demonstration I'll get into a deathmatch and show you that it's all fine and if you're and as you can see i still have this up in the background while i'm playing so you know that this is a virtual machine um, i don't know why i'm showing you showing you that time and time again but just just in case you know just just in case you are in disbelief this okay the game has loaded up and as you can see, um, my SSH is still going, and the CPU is still being used up, and Valorant working as usual in actual deathmatch game. So, okay. So even under. A virtual machine my skills don't improve at all i still suck dick but as you can see the game still works and i'm basically able to play the game without needing to dual boot or any of that and um it it just works i don't, I don't know what else to say <laughs> anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video it, now that you know how to become an esports professional player despite your hipster choice of operating systems uh make sure to subscribe to this channel for more linux scene tutorials or just Clips of me destroying people in Valorant with a virtual machine under Linux. And also, if you're facing any performance issues and you're interested in solving that, 
I'm going to be making another video on how to optimize a virtual machine even like normally and with this uh, method as well. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel for if you want to if you want to see that video and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and that, that about it. Thank you for watching.